Hi friends, let's make a refresh icon in Figma. Here we are in Figma, let's create that refresh icon. Let's come up here to our 24 pixel icon grid. I'm gonna press the O key and draw out a circle from the center. I'm holding down both the option and the shift keys, control and shift if you're on Windows. We're gonna set that to be about 14 by 14. We're gonna press shift and X to swap the fill and the stroke. We're gonna set our stroke value to black. We're gonna come over here to our circle and pull up the arc tool. So the arc tool is this little dot that you see here. When we drag this, this is going to sweep out an arc. We have this little wedge here. Now what we're going to do with this wedge, we're going to drag this ratio value all the way up to that main point. Let's bring back our menu. We're going to select our object that we have here. We're going to come down to the stroke panel, pull up the advanced stroke options. And here we're going to set our endpoints to be round. Now what we're going to do is take this sweep value over here on the left, hold down the shift key and drag it to about negative 37.5%. Next, we're ready to create our arrow. Let's come up here, draw out a polygon. We're going to set that polygon to be four by four. I'm going to hold down the shift key. Let's rotate that and bring this over here. Now you might have trouble snapping it perfectly to the center. So hit command P, control P if you're on Windows. Set your nudge amount, your small nudge to be 0.5. With your small nudge set to 0.5, I can use my keyboard arrow key to nudge that over. Let's set the fill color on that arrow to be black. Next, let's double click inside and click an additional point. What we're going to do is we're going to move all the points in our arrow. So then that way we can have a nicer looking arrow. So here I'm going to set this point to that center. I'm going to set this point to that center. So up and over, I'm going to set this point right here. So that's looking pretty good. We're going to keep all of those points selected and apply a corner radius of 0.25. So that's looking great. Now I can select both the arrow and our curved line here, come up to the top, the Boolean group options and choose union selection. This will bring it as one object. Now what we want to do, if we try to rotate it, we don't have a good center point for rotation. So I'm going to draw out another circle. I'm going to draw out this circle from the center, expand it all the way out. Now we need to move the circle behind those arrows. So I'm going to hit command left bracket. If you're on windows, it's control left bracket. Let's move that back by one. And now I can hold down the shift key and this arrow. What that's going to do is give me the ability to rotate those. What we're going to do here is rotate this back by one. So there we go. We've rotated it there. Now I'm going to duplicate this arrow with command D, control D if you're on Windows once again and hit the command and shift key to select the circle, control and shift if you're on Windows. And now let's rotate this while holding down the shift key. And that's going to give us that perfect sensor of rotation there. Now that this is good, let's press the shift key, select the other arrow that's on top and we can angle these right about there. So that line is coming down through the angle. We can hit the command key, select that circle, delete that, and we are looking pretty good there. So hopefully that was helpful. And as always, happy designing.